Independent client, customer and Gerald. Uh, this is a completion video. Uh, there is no reorder materials. Uh, this is 100% complete. Uh, as far as the um, job, I want to go over a few things though uh, that are going to be second trip maybe as far as after the uh, floors are put in. Uh, here we've got the island installed. Uh, got all of our baseboards down. Got our support brackets for our granite overhang. Uh, this looking at a 13 inch overhang. These are set at 12 inches. Uh, they are projected up slightly so that they'll support more weight. Uh, got all of our baseboards on, inside corners. Finished out our outside with our pilasters. Offset those for the overhang on the back. Went ahead and cut the opening for the um, microwave. Uh, this is 14 5 8 by 21 and uh, 5 16 And um, the exit drawer microwave. So it's actually going to roll in and out. Bottom drawer set is all that's done. Uh, here we got a 24 inch space for the dishwasher. Take a look here. 24, actually about 24 and an eighth is what we got left. Uh, and then we've got a apron sink in the uh, stainless steel. That's all done. Here, got the built-in for the drain. All that's in the back of the cabinet. Installed the uh, cutting board tray, cutting board utilities. It's gonna be a little tight on that one. This one here, double rollout. Here we've got a tray with a pull-out rollout. It's a very nice little accessory right there. Um, and then over here on this side, all of the cabinets on these walls are 13 inches deep, one inch deeper than standard. Much nicer layout, more room inside of them. Base cabinets here on the sides, left and right. Base cabinets there. Didn't finish anything around the sides of the stove because the stove's gonna hide anything there, but everything above is finished. Uh, center line of the wall is exactly the center line of everything, so your tile cuts and everything will all look right. Uh, over here, 40 and a half inches for the uh, refrigerator. Plenty of room for the right-hand door to open and close correctly. Uh, both bases here, wall cabinets there. Now these turned out really well. This is a piece that they built uh, for the house, and this is that color sweet tea. And this actually turned out really nice as far as having the uh, uh, cabinets countertop. This actually countertop is the, from the cabinet company to match the shelves. These are all shelves that we built in place right above it. Floating shelves, but they're wall to wall shelves. They're four and a half inches thick instead of just a little thin inch, you know, three inch thin piece. So it looks a lot nicer, a lot sturdier for us putting something on them. All right, so those are the two built-ins in the fireplace. Do notice that they have beams. They're gonna stain those beams to match that honey or that uh, sweet tea color. So uh, let's take a look in the laundry room. Okay, laundry room area. Here we got the right-hand side set of drawers. Uh, they're gonna use a single bowl sink so the struts didn't have to be removed. Upper boxes on these are actually at 15 inches deep, so really deep as far as the return. All right, so then uh, all the upper cabinets in here are 15 inches deep, so quite a bit more space inside. Uh, they've got plenty of room for detergent bottles, things like that. Uh, let's take a look in the lot in the okay guest bath area, two bowl sink. It's in a corridor bathroom, uh, so the right hand side's up against the wall. Uh, we allowed for a one inch fill on both sides of this one, uh, but the molding package for this house actually was a little bit taller and wider than the standard would have been. And so you're getting a little interference from that molding. Customer knows about that. It's probably gonna have the molding guy trim that back at a 45 and retouch that as far as painting. Uh, but this again was part of where we measured it frame and we did not have a molding outline. Uh, the molding outline for the entire house is basically just the blocking, this headpiece that you see on all these doors are actually something that we didn't know about um, same thing over here exactly the same thing door here opens there okay uh, all the shelves and stuff are in the cabinets they've got to pull some wires in the backs of those take a look at the master bath okay master bath just a mirror of the guest bath but had a deeper return to the inside of the wall here. So we didn't have any problems with any of the moldings touching anything. And doors open completely at 90. All your shelves are inside, good shape. Same thing over here, full depth return on this one. Uh, so the molding had no problem, come right up to the line out. And as far as that goes, all your shelves and stuff now are in there. All of these are in there. 
so ready to be used. Uh, center lines on your sinks and stuff, uh, they should be good as far as single bowls without having to remove any of the struts. And uh, base cabinets down here in the bottom have plenty of room to lift one inch, even though the taller base is being put in, have one inch to the wall, so we have plenty of room for that one to work as well. Uh, go back to the kitchen. All right, a couple of things here in the kitchen that we've done. Color sample in Arctic, left that for the customer. Color sample in Sweet Tea, we left that one. That's the island color and the uh, color over there at the other side. So we just got those two samples. Here we've got a few extra handles. Um, all of the handles put on the cabinet, so we got a few extras that came with it. Here you've got the molding, the quarter round molding for the island, and the quarter round molding for the kitchen and bath, okay? Uh, if you take a look, no floors, so this is definitely gonna have to be installed afterwards. Uh, we went ahead and raised all the baseboards by half an inch. So everything's off the floor uh, for the uh, floor to be installed, so no problem there. Um, if we need to do a return trip on that, we can. If not, the flooring people will put it in. Uh, so we'll find out from the builder later how that has to go. If you have any questions at all about this, and again, I think that just turned out really nice over there in the island as well. If you have any questions about this kitchen, this finish, these cabinets, uh, please feel free to give me a call at 423-650-1051. Have a great day.